Hey everybody, welcome to part 2 of my Battlefield rant. If you want to listen to the first part, link will be in the bottom below, so check that out. Like and subscribe, yeah. So, I kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger on my second part saying, what about the trimming of the fat with the next Battlefield? I feel like I might be included in that trimmed fat, and it really hurts to say that because I love this franchise, I love Battlefield, I don't want it to end. Um, I actually got giddy when I heard of the newest... Uh, Battlefield 5, even if it was a rumor, Armageddon, whatever. Um, which is not something that I felt when Battlefield 4 was announced. Because when Battlefield 4 was announced and I was still on Battlefield 3, I was like, really? Like, this game is still good. Battlefield 3 is still good. I mean, I guess we are overdue for a new title. So, I was getting in that sense that we were getting a new title. But, like, I was content with Battlefield 3. It was still, still good. It was still good. And, um... I did not feel that with the announcement of Armageddon 5, with Arm I mean with Battlefield 5. Uh, with the announcement of Battlefield 5, I was kind of like, cool it can't come fast enough. Battlefield 4 was a, it was a disaster of a launch. Everything from the beta to the release date to the server problems that happened. I mean, this this is awful guys this is awful what can we do to bring battlefield back and restore it to its former glory and one of you guys might be thinking well you know you can post gameplay of battlefield you know i i could but like i said i like to i like to post uh smooth gameplay so rubber banding and whatnot is not very appealing to the eye kind of hurts my brain when i watch gameplay where you clearly see rubber banding and uh just not a big fan of that you know i like my things to perform awesome i like my things to run smoothly and um while there are patches and whatnot and updates in the works it feels like the damage has been done why am i being so negative and coming down on battlefield so much well for one thing it has a lot to live up to it has its own the name itself, Battlefield, carries a lot of weight with it. They understand the uh, the size and the type of gameplay that comes with uh, a Battlefield title. So when they come out with something this beautiful and this awesome, and actually that's what I wanted to talk about. Hands down, <clears throat> hands down, any other game cannot even come close to touching the Battlefield hype. Um, every time you see those absolutely jaw-dropping trailers, those cinematic, absolutely beautiful masterpieces of advertising for Battlefield and the Battlefield franchise, it's always been ridiculous. It's always looked absolutely stunning and gorgeous, and they kind of get, like, gamers' mouths salivating and going, oh my god. But then, when you realize that... Uh, you can't play this game unless you have a grizzly PC, unless you have, like, uh, 16 gigs of RAM to spare on top of your 8 gigs, then, uh, then it's all good. Other than that, I'm kind of running out of steam. I know I had started so early, but I feel like really now I'm just shitting on Battlefield and it's getting really negative, and I don't want that to happen. I really just want Battlefield to become a better game. So what can we do to make Battlefield a better game? I kind of want to make a video about that separate, so like I said, this would be a part, this would be a three-part series, um, or rant, whatever, but the conclusion is going to be all my thoughts and everything i think we can do to restore battlefield to its former glory so like and subscribe and please stay tuned for part three